Hello, everyone. I pray you are blessed. I pray you are doing well. I pray that everything is okay in your life. Let me say something. This life, like this life is not only for ourselves. So your life it's not only for yourself. I hope you are understanding this. We are here, yes, to serve God. But not only that. We are here to serve people. Matthew chapter 25 verses 34 through 45 which I really don't want to read through the whole thing but let me I guess read through some of it um then shall the king say unto them well you can read it if you want to so we are not here to only live for ourselves but to help other people as well. I remember some years back um, something happened and someone asked me for help and I did not want to do it because it was a huge inconvenience. Very, very huge. But with how things were, in order to help that person, I needed to be inconvenienced. And I truly, at first, disliked what I had to do, which I did not have to do it, but what I did for that person. And what I would do, because, you know, my attitude toward it was very negative, what I would do is speak, can I say speak life, like I did not like it, but I was telling myself out loud sometimes that I love it or I like it or saying positive things about it like I like it I forget which word I would use but I may have said I love it I like it you know I always love it and that may sound very silly to you but I tell you this after a while <laughs> After a while, my feelings changed concerning it, meaning it was not so much a burden to me as much. Like I started to, this was years back, so I forget some things about it, but I, I believe I started to not mind it. I am trying to tell you. I could have told that person, no, I am not going to do it. I could have. I could have told that person that. But with how I was living my life at that time and with the circumstances for that person, it was best for me to inconvenience myself to help that individual. Now, would that person do the same for me? Probably not, probably never in the same way. But that is the thing about it. We reap what we sow. 
So I can't say to myself, since, let me name a random name, since Andrew wouldn't do the same for me, I am not going to do it for that person. No. No. In that case there, would you really do anything for anyone? Because who is really going to, how many people are really going to inconvenience themselves for you? Maybe not too many. So in saying that, aren't you cutting off your blessings short, I guess I can say, by you want to do this, I will only do something for you if you do something for me. No. There is a other time and where I helped someone and I did not really want to do it, but at the same time, I was getting something and in return, but I did not really want to do it to a point, but I did it. And I believe it helped that person. And I believe it helped me some as well. But would that person ever do the same for me? Maybe never. Maybe never, maybe never, but that is not the point. Maybe I should read the scripture for you because um, maybe it will place things in context more. Let's go to Matthew chapter 25. Where am I? Verses 34 through 45. Then shall the king say unto them on his right hand, Come, ye blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. 35. For I was an hungered, and ye gave me meat. I was thirsty, and ye gave me drink. I was a stranger, and ye took me in. 36. Naked, and ye clothed me. I was sick, and ye visited me. I was in prison, and ye came unto me. 37. Then shall <clears throat> the righteous answer him saying lord when saw we thee and hungered and fed thee or thirsty and gave thee drink 38 when saw we thee a stranger and took thee in hello or naked and clothed thee 39 or when saw we thee sick or in prison and came unto thee? 40. And the king shall answer unto them, shall answer and say unto them, Verily, I say unto you, in as much, huh? In as much as ye have done, it unto one of the least, least of these, my brethren, ye have done it unto me. So in essence, which I am not done here. So in essence, when you were doing those things for other people, you were doing it unto the king. 41, let's go to 41. Then shall he say unto them on the left hand, depart from me, ye cursed into everlasting life. Fire, I mean, 
<laughs> not life. Prepared for the devil and his angels, which we don't want to um, be in, if I am saying that right. 42, for I was in hunger, and ye gave me no meat, no meat. I was thirsty, and ye gave me no drink. 43, I was a stranger, and ye gave, and ye took me not in. Naked, and ye clothe me not, not sick, and in prison, and ye visited me not. Okay, 44. Then shall they also answer him, saying, Lord, when saw we thee in hunger? When, Lord? Or a thirst? Or a stranger? Or naked? Or sick? Or in prison? And did not minister unto thee? Please listen now. Verse 45. Then shall he answer them, saying, Verily, I say unto you, hello, and as much, huh? And as much as ye did it not to one of the least of these, ye did it not to me. So in essence, what we do for people, we are doing it unto God. So if we say, God, I will do this for you, I will do that for you. But if you are not, but if you are not doing it for other people, if you are not doing it for other people, you are not doing it to God. So in essence, what I am trying to say in a sense, we are here for not only for ourselves, not only for our families, but for other people. We have to serve other people. How can we say we will serve God we will, if we saw God, we would offer him drink, food, this or that. If that is so, we are going to be concerned with other people. Not only ourselves, not only our wives, husbands, children, families, but with other people as well. I hope this makes sense. May God bless you. We can't be selfish.